Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another Super Tease video, and Blizzard has just dropped a massive update. If you thought the War Within couldn't get any better, it absolutely can. They've just announced 11.0.5 and the 20th anniversary event with some really important updates that are likely going to affect your gameplay, as well as some of the most amazing cosmetics I have seen in a long time. I am very happy with this, and I think you will as well once you know about it. So the first big update is that we've been getting a couple of leaks here and there, you know, in a video trailer, an interview showing like a Drakthir Fury Warrior on a character creation screen. We now have 100% confirmation which classes will be able to play the Drakthir Dragon Race, and it's listed now as Hunter, Rogue, Priest, Mage, Warrior, or Warlock. Rogue, Mage, Priest, Strikes Again, RMP, Dragons. Oh my god, I'm trying to imagine RMP dragons tra training you down with stuns and then knocking you up in the air and knocking you back. I, someone's probably going to do it at some point in PvP. Um, I think Drakthir Warrior, honestly, looks like it could be really good as well um, with all the disruption that you have with storm bolts and shockwaves and now you've got knockups and knockbacks. Also, Drakthir are immune to knockback effects because you can activate your little wings and then start hovering forward. So being a melee class as a Drakthir gives you extra disruption gives you knock prevention it's actually got a lot of synergies in pvp situations to be really strong so you do actually really want to seriously consider this um not to mention in pve i remember when blood elf racial used to be an aoe silence and in mythic plus every single group was stacking five blood elves so that way they could aoe interrupt and in dungeons at the moment aoe interrupts are you know one of the most important components so having now possibly five drac there depending on the the class combinations right because you know mage and warlock are typically pretty strong in mythic plus if not it's hunter and shadow priest uh, and then evoker obviously so the fact that all these classes can actually be in there and be Drakthir means that that could be the Mythic Plus meta, uh, being able to get the knock up for an interrupt and even the knockback um, to some extent as well, providing you even extra area of effect crowd control that you don't really need to worry about overlapping with kicks with other players. So this is a big deal. You you might might have thought like this isn't a big deal that uh, Drakthir can be be this but it definitely is but they have also increased the cooldown of these knockback effects so for the race itself baseline the tail swipe is a three minute cooldown and the wing buffet is also a three minute cooldown um and for tail swipe and wing buffet they no longer automatically shift you in a drag theory form for all classes except evoker interesting so are they going to let us actually look like visage forms undertaking one of the new classes of drag here will allow you to fight with them in visage form by activating visage which switches you between forms you can additionally choose to toggle on chosen chosen identity which will automatically shift you to drag your form when entering combat and visage form when leaving combat so it does seem like you're going to be able to actually choose whether or not you're a dragon unless you're an evoker now i think they were aware of how powerful the tail swipe and wing buffets were going to be that's why they're going up to three minutes uh, but for evoker class by itself it's going up to a two minute cooldown or it's going to reduce it by a two minute cooldown so it comes about to be the same for evoker um as well as heavy wing beats will reduce your wing this is the talents for evoker will reduce it by two minutes up from 45 permeating chill is now baseline for evoker so that's a talent that was i think providing you a snare uh on your disintegrate and heavy wing beats and clobbering sweep are no longer a choice node and their position has changed in the class tree so we got evoker you know just class uh talent tree updates I think you're gonna be able to be in visage form if you want if you're not an evoker unfortunately they still don't think it makes sense to shoot a disintegrate out of your hand instead of your mouth i guess um so unfortunately if you're if you're an evoker you're still going to do that they added the squadron flight path now so if drag players can learn a talent called squadron where you'll fly around and it'll just summon two drag npcs with you so you can have a little rp considering that you know like the scale commander talent tree now you can fly around and feel like you get a little squadron flying around with you not a big deal but the gameplay i definitely think is a big deal so it could be something worth seriously considering i think especially in mythic plus but even possibly in pvp if you can like coordinate that together with your team the next big update if you like to eat rocks is that earthen racials are going to be buffed and i i'm surprised it took this long um apparently the earthen racials are so bad that it's actually a dps loss 
to pick this. And you have to go through a pretty long quest chain um, in order to unlock them in the first place. And everybody thought they were really cool as far as RP is considered. Uh, but, uh, you know, gameplay-wise, it's not it's not that good. Now, my hope also is that they will buff some other races because there's some other races that are not good either, right? Like Nightborn and Magar Orc and possibly even Volpir to some extent. I feel like, you know, the throughput options for a lot of the races could definitely use with uh, use a little bit of a tune up um, as far as their power and effects. You know, the three minute cooldown piercing howl on a Nightborn is just not good. It's just you'll never convince me that it's good. Um, I don't even think it's as strong as piercing howl uh, for warrior in terms of snare reductions. So um, they're going to be working on some updates for earthen eating. First, we recognize that earthen well-fed secondary stat bonus is not providing the intended power level. We're increasing that effect. Secondly, we are making Belga's gems edible to earthen, improving their quality and greatly reducing their cost. We'll let you know in the hotfixes to make those adjustments go live. So hopefully if you're looking at making it earthen, it's not going to end up ultimately being a net loss for you. Now, the next big one, I want to get to it, you know, third on the list here is the transmogs. Oh my God. Oh my god, dude. Tier 2. And they made new Tier 2s for classes that didn't exist during Vanilla WoW. Look at this Death Knight set, bro. Oh my god. This thing is insane. The Dragon Stalker set is insane. The Netherwind Mage set. The Warrior one, man. Like, I gotta make a Warrior. Also, I don't know why this Kul'Tiran is so short. This guy is definitely a Stormtrooper Kul'Tiran. Druid one even looks fantastic. I love the, the little detail on this. Like It looks like the next evolution, the modernization of WoW armor. Well, it's it's still retaining like that Warcraft 3 essence, but it's just got this like almost like animated look to it as well. The preset looks immaculate. I'm going to have to level every class, man. I have to get every class to 80 already. Like I'm going too slow, bro. I got to get I got to get these sets, man. Look at this. The panda set with the lightning coming through here. Except I think this is Rogue. Confused me a bit cuz they put a panda on it. Is that Rogue? I don't remember the Rogue Tier 2 set. I don't think that's Rogue. What set is that? Shaman? Uh, the Earth Fury set? Again, this just looks like a great modernization. That's the Evoker one. I thought the Monk one was green. Oh, this is the Rogue one. Honestly, the Rogue one doesn't look the best. Demon Hunter? Classic Demon Hunter look. Doesn't look like they took too much risk with this. Warlock one? I love the little fidelity updates. The little chaos coming out of the shoulders with this one. Oh my god, being able to like mix these sets in with other existing sets is going to be great. Uh, and then we've got, uh, what is this, Priest again? Netherwind Armor again, Warlock again. Oh, so maybe it's like overlaps of existing ones. The Paladin one, dude. Paladin's eight, dude. You might not be that strong in terms of power and PvP, but you're going to look good while you get smacked down. Okay, you're going to look good while you get smacked down. That's for sure, 100%. Evoker again in what it looks like in dragon form with them. Uh, the Death Knight with some animations and a sword put on top of it as well. Demon Hunter one with weapons. See, this is the Monk one. They had to make a new one because it didn't exist, and it looks fantastic. I feel like mixing this one with the PvP set from Legion, the Elite PvP set, is one that I'm looking out for as possibly being a really cool uh, combination. But, yeah, I if you're not coming back even for the gameplay, it's like get these cosmetics for the 20th anniversary event, which I believe is lasting quite a long time this time around. So you will have a lot of time to get it. But after that, who knows if these will go back into the vault. Um, um, and come back at some other point but these sets are definitely you know you don't want to miss out on it and you know the 20 year event here it's going to be a caverns of time anniversary event they've got this giant thing going on like a little festival affair with transmog competitions and mount off competitions and story time with lower walker cho so just a really big you can become your pets now and race other players i think or something around the map new little transmog costume i don't know if these will be toys that they let us take outside of this event or not but you can temporarily transform into like cadgar or illidan and meme around and hang out with some other players that have been you know fans of the warcraft universe for so many years at this point so it's a it's a really cool outlined event with a ton of new stuff it's got a raid i think coming in as well with the black rock depths being a 10 to 15 player raid uh, i'm really stoked this is this is one of the coolest things i think that has happened in a long time and we've got even more unique cosmetic appearances they're bringing in warcraft 3 back transmogs now warcraft 3 is what started my love for the warcraft universe so seeing these little logos on the back of these characters definitely 
definitely pulled my heartstrings. So you can get the Lordaeron representing the Alliance and the humans. You can get the Orgrimmar axes and the shield representing the Horde. The Frostmourne with hammers and anvils representing the Scourge. And then the Glaives representing the Sentinels and the Night Elves from Warcraft 3. So I'm definitely picking up all of those. I'm hoping that they're not super expensive, but they look absolutely fantastic. And the final last one is that they're bringing back some exclusive pets. They're bringing back the Baby Blizzard Bear. So if you're interested in like collecting, this is a really important one to know about. Alongside with the Onyxia Whelplings, little Flame Corgis and Core Hounds and Fire Elementals and other pets as well. So limited time anniversary events. You definitely don't want to miss out on this. It looks absolutely epic. Some of those updates as well could be very game changing and interesting to check out because you know it's it's been kind of a stale meta as far as like the racial selection for classes and competitive play in all aspects of the game. So buffing the Earthens up, maybe that means they'll take a look at other you know underperforming racial and the drag theater could definitely blow the door wide open in terms of possibility so thank you guys for tuning into the video today if you want to stay up to date with news related to world of warcraft smash the subscribe button your support is greatly appreciated